So today, we have such an exciting episode. We're making a dish that you can virtually enjoy all year round, yet it's extra special right now during winter as the main ingredient is in peak season. We're talking a creamy cauliflower soup. Now the beauty of this dish, besides the fact that it's made with simple everyday ingredients, is that it's very easy to make, done in about 40 minutes, healthy for you, and the fact that it's naturally vegan and gluten-free, making it the perfect dish for everybody to enjoy. Folks, we're talking honest clean cooking that packs a ton of goodness. This video is sponsored by Tienda.com. Now, Tienda is an online superstore focusing on selling all things Spain for your home and kitchen, and they've been around since 1996. And let me tell you, they have such an incredible selection of artisan Spanish ingredients, like queso manchego, the famous jamón serrano and jamón ibérico, the beautiful canned seafood from Spain, marcona almonds, olives, and all the spices you need to make all your favorite Spanish recipes, among so many other ingredients. And let me tell you, when it comes to cookware, they have an amazing selection of authentic Spanish paella pans that range in size from two servings all the way up to 50 servings, and they even offer classic grilling systems that way you can always perfectly cook your paella. Folks, visit tienda.com, let them know Albert from Spain on a fork sent you there, and make sure you use coupon code on a fork during checkout for 10% off your order. All right, let's begin by getting our ingredients ready. I'm gonna roughly chop one medium-sized onion. And as you know, when I'm working with onions, I like to remove between one to two of the outer layers, as those outer layers are not as firm as the inside ones, making it so much easier to chop the onion, and it actually gives it a better overall texture. Then we'll grab four cloves of garlic, remove the skins, and roughly chop them. For the next ingredient, I'm gonna cut off the leaves from one leek, trim off a little bit from the stem, and thinly slice it. Then we'll peel one medium-sized zucchini, cut it in half vertically, and cut it into large chunks. And for the final ingredient, we have the star of the show. I have one head of fresh cauliflower here. I'm gonna start by cutting off a little bit from the stem and then removing the outer leaves. Then we'll cut the head into four evenly sized pieces, cut off the remaining stem and break off each piece into large florets. Then we'll add in the florets into a colander and give them a quick rinse under some cold running water. For the next step, let's start cooking our dish. I'm gonna heat a stock pot with a medium heat and add in three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 45 milliliters. After a couple minutes, I'm gonna add in the chopped onion slice leeks, and the chopped garlic. And we'll mix the vegetables around, that way they're all coated in that olive oil. And as you know, I like to mix this continuously, that way everything evenly sautés. After three to four minutes, and the vegetables are lightly sautéed, and the onion is nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in the pieces of zucchini, and we'll continue to mix this and go for another two to three minutes. After about three minutes and the zucchini is lightly sauteed, I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of dried thyme, which is about half a gram. And we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a quick mix that way those seasonings are evenly coating all the vegetables. Then we'll add in the florets of cauliflower and enough water to just barely cover the ingredients, which is five cups in my case, or 1200 milliliters. Then we'll turn it up to a high heat, give it a mix and bring it to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, we'll place the lid on the stock pot 
and we'll lower the fire to a low medium heat and we're going to simmer this between 5 to 10 minutes or until those florets of cauliflower are just cooked through and this is also going to give us a beautiful broth which is going to give this soup an incredible lift of flavors. After about 7 to 8 minutes, I'm going to remove the lid. And you know, you can always tell when your cauliflower is just cooked through, you just grab one of the florets and pierce it with a toothpick. If it goes in there, but with some resistance, it is ready to go. You kind of want it al dente. If you overcook it, it's going to end up with a mushy texture. At this point, I'm going to remove the stock pot from the heat. And we're going to leave our mixture to sit here for a couple minutes. That way it can slightly cool off. After a couple minutes, I'm going to drain everything into a fine sieve with a heat proof bowl underneath. If you don't have a heat proof bowl, no big deal. You can just add a stock pot or even a pan underneath the fine sieve. Then we'll transfer the vegetables back into the stock pot and add all the vegetables into a food processor, making sure to get everything out of the stock pot. and we'll run the food processor between 30 seconds to one minute or until all the ingredients are well mixed together. And make sure to get in there during the halfway point and push down on the vegetables, that way they're all perfectly pureed. Once the vegetables are pureed, I'm gonna grab some of the reserve liquid that we cooked the vegetables in and add it into the food processor while it's continuing to run. I like to add it in there in half cup increments, which is 120 milliliters. And you want to add in enough of that liquid to end up with a beautiful creamy texture, which is about one and a half cups in my case, or 340 milliliters. And that's the exact texture you're looking for right there, a beautiful creamy goodness. If you want yours to be a little bit thinner, you just added more liquid in there. For the final step, make sure to give it a taste test and then re-season with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll run the food processor one last time, that way those seasonings are evenly incorporated into the soup. Then we'll transfer some of the soup into a shallow bowl. Drizzle a kiss of extra virgin olive oil over the soup. And we'll garnish it with some fresh parsley. Check it out, our creamy cauliflower soup is done. This is known in Spain as crema de coliflor. Easy to make, made with the humblest ingredients in a dish that you can serve warm, at room temperature, or even chilled. Either way, let's give this a try and see how it turned out. I'm telling you, today's another one of those days where it's cold and rainy outside and you know this soup is gonna hit the spot. Look at that beautiful creamy texture. Absolutely delicious. So simple but so good and that cauliflower really shines through. You know what I love about this recipe is that creamy texture but without using the dairy. Folks give the soup a try home, serve it next to a crunchy baguette and a bottle of Spanish wine but more specifically from the beautiful wine region of Rivera del Duero you're gonna have yourself one heck of a great meal. Really quick before I go, a uh, shout out to a couple of my patrons, William Judd, Manuel J. Rosales, Edward J. Garrison, David Houston, and Britt Saunders. Again guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends that way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.